before COVID, more than most, I understood how important people are. When people started trying to bring those live gigs back, and you know, there'd be like kind of 10% people across a big field, and you just miss the atmosphere. And I already knew this already, but it just proved to me just how much of all of this is a mutual thing. You know, when I go out on that show, I'll feel amazing. And I hope they will as well. And there's a synergy with that, you know what I mean? That's a feeling all of us feel in that moment. And that's powerful, that's fucking cool. Man. By far, the best part of the job in One Direction was the tour shows. You know, that's when you watch the songs come to life, and that's, for me, the most exciting part, and the most important part as well. So I'd, be, I'd been leading up to that moment for like five years. Really. It's like a moment for me to show off what the fuck I've been doing for the last four or five years, do you know what I mean? And really be like, this is who I am, this is what we're working with. Yeah, I feel like I fucking deserve it, you know what I mean? exactly how it was going to be and I had these things in my head thinking like going on tour on my own is that going to be the same am I going to have as much fun and like, all of these things but those shows were even better than I could have imagined you know the atmosphere and the love and that feeling in the room was like amazing those are the kind of things that I've had to digest because I feel the importance of those shows to some people of finally getting to what I'd worked for, you know? It just eliminated any doubt, you know? I'm just like, okay, I can definitely do this. I'm supposed to do this. All these people are here to see me. Oh, I felt like a fucking god out there, man. I'm not gonna lie, I felt like a fucking god. First show of the tour done. Yeah. Okay, yes, man. This is like, it's just gonna keep going like this. And he's off now. That's it. Do it, 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 do it. The night of the Madrid show, I just started getting a bit of information that maybe there were gonna be less people there and that numbers were really flaring up in the city. And that was when I just started to think about, well, what if tonight doesn't happen and then what if the rest of the tour doesn't happen? If we want to reroute it in the same way, the likelihood is we won't be able to get the same venues and routing again until April, May next year. Because that wow. Because everything in the autumn's already booked. Because tours are getting booked up 12, 18 months in advance. So, um, is there any way around that? Really. Different venues? Everywhere's everyone's, booked? Everyone's trying to do the same thing. Yeah, it's just frustrating. It's frustrating, especially because last night was so special, and I'm like, right, that's fucking out there. And then it's, it, there's a potential that it could be stop start or just stop. If I'm a betting man, which I am, looks like odds are, you know, the rest of the world are gonna follow, um, especially the places that we're touring. Um, so, yeah, shit. Waiting for that break. That easy fucking rudder, no bullshit, no stress. I'm waiting, I'll be waiting a little bit longer, I think. You know, people were very creative along lockdown for different ways of how they could connect to their fans and, you know, help with what we all felt where, you know, a lot of the days felt very similar. So, you know, if you can help with that in any way. But also, you know, it had been a long time that since I'd performed before I did that first stream. So I was excited to get back into that. I needed that, you know. Because they're all watching together at the same time, 
it, it does replicate that feeling of being at a gig because if you're not involved, you feel like you're missing out and you want to be, you know what I mean? Dave Emery, uh, pick up the guitarist on the outside for the opening of this. And Matt, pick up the strings. If you knew what you were to me, you would never try to hide away. Cause everybody's looking at you now. My, oh my, I guess I'm queen. The great thing about the live stream is you know, anyone can tune in from anywhere. And that felt cool because I know there was a lot of people that had messaged me on Twitter and stuff that had never seen me, you know, in concert or even with One Direction. And all of a sudden it gave them a chance to, you know, see the experience and feel the experience. After the live stream, we kept trying to, as a lot of artists did, put the new dates up for the tour, and it just kind of kept getting pushed back, kept getting pushed back. But after so long, I kind of realised, like, I'm soon going to have to think about my second album, which in my head, I'll get the tour out of the way, and then I'll address that. So I'd not really given it much thought, to be honest. I was trying to climb into that idea, but what was difficult was, you know, and I think anybody in any creative field will have felt this over lockdown. When every day is the same, it's hard to, you know, feel creative and it's hard to have any kind of proper inspiration. As Session started to come back, I started writing again. And it was great, and, and, and some of those songs have, have gone on to be all right, but that's all I'd been doing for the last four years, you know, to get walls. So it did feel a little bit like, oh shit, we're here again already, without many experiences to draw from in between album one and two. And that's when I started trying to think about when things start to be possible, how do I put a live gig on, and what does that look like? Yeah, come on, lad, let's make it happen. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, good, quick. I, I want to be one of the first. I, and we can do that. Yeah, we got it. We just, we got to fucking make this happen, man. I fucking yeah. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Get me into rehearsals tomorrow to do it next month, I'm ready. I wanted to put on a free gig, I wanted to put on a gig probably in England. Outdoor, not have to be too big, but just fucking a free gig. And the idea is to try and be ahead of everyone else and, and you know, be that first gig back for, for some people. I just think the atmosphere and the energy in the room is going to be amazing. So if I could put on a gig like that and do it for free, yeah, I think that would be fucking cool, man, definitely. Early on, I piled the pressure onto me manager, Matt, and I'm like, if nothing else happens this year, this has got to happen this year. And I said, I'm going to be reminding you every single time I speak to you and every time I did, I would, and I'd put the pressure on him because I could just feel how amazing it's going to be. So where we left it last time is venues confirmed, yeah. dates confirmed, that's all moving ahead. Right. I think that if we're going to leave the announcement till probably July time, it would be a safer position to know whether there's going to be any restrictions in terms of capacity by that point. You know, the whole premise of this is that it's free. Um, the tour's sold out. And that this is something to celebrate live music again, I guess. Yeah. So exactly. it's, it's just working out mechanics of that and finding somewhere that you can somewhere that's available to do this as well on a practical level, which isn't easier. But I think we found somewhere that's pretty unique. The longer lockdown went on, the longer I thought it was a good idea because, as a fan, a music fan myself, 
I knew how much I missed live music. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Look at that. I'm excited about playing gigs again as an artist, but I'm probably more excited to have that first live gig back as a fan, you know, and experiencing that feeling mutually. You know, maybe I'm being too fucking romantic about it a bit, but in my head, that gig at that moment would just be such a special fucking time because there's just going to be so much like built up energy in the room and there's going to be a lot of anticipation. Is there a probability that it won't? Well, fuck it out, I've never thought about that, so thanks for mentioning it. That it won't happen? Mm. Yeah, there's every possibility that it, that it won't happen. When it happens, not if, it will happen. I've just got a good feeling about it, but it, oh, it's just going to be a really special night. I know everyone who's there, you know, you guys, fans, anyone, it's just, it's just going to be... You're going to feel like you could hold that vibe in the room, that energy is going to be, like, fucking amazing. All right, okay, let's send it Great. All right, sorry, it had to be rough. Just Charlie. I always said from the start, I'm not going to do the gig unless I can do it full capacity. So at any point, you know, it, it felt like it could have fallen apart. It was only maybe three weeks ago that I definitely thought it was 100% happening. That's basically the layout like that. Cool, okay. So you've got your three screens, the riser with the boys on. This is like a catwalk kind of scenario. And is that over the water? Yeah. So the walkway will be over water, and then that bit will be over land at the front, and then there'll be steps down to the front of the audience. And how close are the audience? Is, is the B stage... Are we calling that bit the B stage? Yeah. Right, OK, cool. Is the, how far away is that from the audience? It'll be enough room for security, probably another couple of feet, I'd imagine. Security, and then a barrier, and then the audience. So not quite touching distance? Not quite touching distance. Right, okay. And we've gone as close as we can with that crowd to see. Yeah, I mean, it'll be a thing when we get there. Okay. Well before my solo career, I wanted to put on a free gig. You know, be lucky enough to be in a position to be able to do that. And uh, I kind of had the first idea when I was in One Direction about putting on something big and free and for the fans, you know, as a kind of gift from us to them. And then that idea kind of stayed with me and then obviously everything happened with Corona and it just felt like now would be a really good time to put on this gig. Picture it, can't you? It'd be fucking mad, man. And what, it'll be like, how far will it go back? So the, the fence will be beyond this tree line, around there, curve round here. Beyond those trees at the back there, I think, and then back round. Yeah. So that's it's, it's big. What's amazing is to come down like today, and you know, it starts to become a lot more real because we've must have had 20, 30 conversations over the last 12 months about what it could be. So to be here on the day definitely makes it all more real, more exciting. That so, is sick. Too many times in my career, I kind of had to pick myself up and go, right, let's go again, let's go again. But in the last two years, I've just felt like I'm finally gaining some momentum. And right now, in my head, I feel the best I've ever felt. And that can only be good for the fucking gig and for the people there, for all of us. Okay. Okay. I've already thought I've put 60% on, uh -huh. and then you're saying, get More. into the mass. Yeah. If you think here and you've worked here and around the nose, maybe a little bit below, mm. can you now do it so that place is here, <laughs> right? Okay. So keep okay. lifting upwards okay. Okay. In, your, in your inner mind. Okay. Yes, I really think you're going to surprise yourself at yeah. this gig, vocally. Yeah. You will have two, three moments during the set where you're going to think, I can't believe I just did that. Yeah. I can't believe I, how I smashed that. I want to be in those spaces. I want to be warming up. I want to be doing the exercise. I want to be getting better because I'm seeing results. I'm seeing, I'm feeling more confident. I'm sounding better. 
So I've, you know, obviously, naturally, I'm, I'm more willing to put the work in. We've sink some fuel, that's about it. Something has happened. Over this lockdown, I put in a lot of work with Helena over Zoom as well. So because of that, I don't think I've ever been as excited for a gig. You know, I finally feel like, you know, I'm going to get out there and, you know, not just enjoy it, but like, fucking just bathe in it, love it. Yes, mate, you right? Yeah, it's good, mate. Too long, rocking. Too made it. Great lad. How are you? What? How are you? Yeah, very good. Very good. Whoa! Fucking some trick to get you, don't you? Aye, we're all back together, isn't it? Nice, isn't it? Nice. Sometimes I wonder why If you need you can call on me I'll be the friend you need Everything's changed outside I feel the same inside But but it's subconscious knows yeah. that, it's, but, that this is my last rehearsal. It's but just... listen, but it doesn't need to be. You can run it again afterwards yeah, and you can come in tomorrow yeah. and run another run. But more than anything... But then, no, yeah, it's just the pressure piles on now. If I, don't, no. if I don't leave with it right today and then I say, right, I need to come in tomorrow and nail it. And then if I don't nail it tomorrow, then it's just like... Listen, just stop yourself, calm yourself. How you're doing it now, even under all the pressure, how much you are not liking what you're doing, you're singing better than you've ever sung. Okay? okay. And it's not just me, it's from John as well. Okay. I'm just and looking forward to being in the situation and just going into a show like, I oh, fuck it, I'm ready. I'm ready. But listen, that might never come. Yeah, okay. okay. You have to make peace yeah, with that. Okay. Yeah. Because that might never come. Mm. Because you're an artist and you are a performer. So don't wait for that moment. Okay, yeah. Your power lies in steering through yeah. what's going on. Yeah, okay. That's Taking the power. Control. Yeah. 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 It's not What's nice. annoying, what's annoying is the is the progression. So mm -hmm. in all those sessions we've done mm -hmm. at the house, mm -hmm. I was fucking feeling like I was flying. Yes, but you know And what? I wanted to come here feeling that, like, you know what I mean? But you know what? Those sessions are what is making people around me yeah, and the crew okay. say he's singing better than he's ever done. And you'll walk out and the fans will be there and you'll go, why did I get so straight? Yeah, I just, I just want to do right, man. You know, coming from a situation like One Direction, it was never going to be a walk in the park, you know, for me to find my feet as a solo artist. You know, I've, had, I've had shit to deal with and I've had to fight for my own way. But that, that's, what, that's why days like today feel good, you know, but when I walk out there from the, from the show tonight, that's a feeling I've not really had before, like looking around and not only these people are here to see me, but like I, I created this whole thing. So we found out about the show through Twitter. When he tweeted it, I'm oh not even God. joking. It was I so nice. We've two from the Middle East. Yeah. We, um, we, we found known each online. other from Twitter. Yeah, like, we met today yeah. on the plane. Yeah. Because of Louis. Yeah, we never met before. <laughs> we met on the plane. Yeah, and we I met here five minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. and we five just like ago. ran around all the day trying to find like the PCR test. We yeah. just did it. <laughs> I've been a fan of Louis since I'm like really young. And so basically I'm from France and if I'm here today in the UK it's basically thanks to One Direction. Him being the first person I'm going to see after Covid means quite a lot. They're very, very passionate people and they're what, they are what drive me to do what I do. It started as just an, an idea. And then to see it come to life and, you know, see all the manpower that it takes and, and all these boxes, you know, it's proper, don't you, so... It can't wait now to get out of 
his talk and we can't wait to follow him. Maybe that's why we're here. Not for us, for Louis, to support Louis. We do it every gig that we can get to. Because he deserves it, he's worked so hard. And he's missed it so much. I know tonight is everything to him. I'll start feeling jittery, and then I can kind of push that to the back of my mind. And about an hour before, it like really amps up, and I'm thinking about it. Nothing ever comes to us, an opportunity, unless we can deal with it. Yeah. And you yeah. can. Yeah. Well, I've dealt with it a million times before. It's just always feel the same when I run up to it. Yeah. I do feel a little bit different this time around. <laughs> Louis has been great through this process. I think the good thing about this is that he knew exactly what he wanted to do, and that's made the process so much easier. I think he's enjoyed having that control over everything, and that's really exciting, and I'm really pleased with him. And when you're there, when, you're, when you go on, if your mouth gets dry, you just bite gently down oh, yeah. on the tongue mm -hmm. and you will get saliva straight away in your mouth, mm -hmm. okay? And as you walk on, you breathe deep. You keep breathing like a machine tonight. Okay. Yeah. How's the head? West. The head's west. <laughs> west. I can hate this yeah. I hate this mm -hmm. I always hate this bit. Does it? But it goes away when you walk on stage. Can you see the fans? Yeah. Yeah, it does, it does, it does. And then you just go, bang. Just yeah. like, attack your show. Mm. Yeah, you worked so hard for this show. So you go, just go out. And then, if you don't, let them sing a bit. Yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got so much support there. Mm -hmm. You're actually quite calm and collected. If you say so. <laughs> I know. <sighs> okay. All right, now. All right. That was still there. You'll be so good. Thank you. Right. Helena always said to me, like, that's a choice. Is it nerves or is it excitement? And if you think about the feeling, they're pretty fucking similar to me. And only now do I understand. And if I picture being in that moment now, I'll feel the same. But I look at it differently now, you know what I mean? And am I going to be nervous thinking, am I going to do this right? Am I going to... No, all it's going to be, and there's no doubt I'm going to be jittery. You know, I wouldn't be human if I wasn't. But it's going to be a different kind of feeling. It's going to be amazing, man. It's going to be amazing. And even that feeling before, which I normally hate, I normally have this thing in the back of my mind thinking, if I could run away, I might. But I think I'm just going to be like, get me out of here. Never 
Crystal Palace, let's just take a moment. I've been waiting for this for a long time, a very, very long time. I know you guys have too. I don't know if anyone in here, it's their first gig back since all this shit happened. I feel it, I feel it. And uh, it's probably about 12 months ago now that I had this idea, I wanted to put this festival on and put this show on. And now to stand here on this stage, watch it come to life, see you guys. It's fucking unbelievable. I thank you for being able to do something like this. This is only possible because of you lot. And I tell you what, every single gig I'm saying, I'm shitting myself behind stage, like fucking up. And then I get on stage and I fucking see you lot. What the fuck was I worried about? All right, sing your hearts out. This one's two of us. I fucking love you all. Go on then, get your torches out on your phone. Let's see them. Since I called you Just to hear the answer phone Yeah, I know that you won't get this So I leave a message so I'm not alone <laughs> This morning I woke up still dreaming With 
memories playing through my head You'll never know how much I miss you The day that they took you I wish it was me instead But you once told me don't give up You can do it day by day And diamonds, they don't turn to dust or fade away So I will keep you day and night here until the day I die Fucking moment, Crystal Palace. Love that. I went to Amsterdam without you, and all I could do was think about you and the
All right, now we're going to have a little walk down here, get to the B stage. Do I take my stand? I'm assuming there's going to be one there. Fucking hell, you guys are good. I feel you, Crystal Palace. Yeah. All right, the next song. Do a few. This one's too young, too young. Not to check. Then I wish you could have had before Oh, I can't believe I gave in to the pressure They said a love like this would never last So I cut you off cause I didn't know no better Now I realize, yeah I realize We were too young I wish I could have seen it all along Sorry that I hurt you, darling No, we were too young We were too young It's been two years since I've seen your face Trying to find some better words to say Before I let this moment slip away Cause now I realize We were To know we had everything to yeah. Wish I could have seen it that in mind, I'll take a little bit less vocal, tiny bit please. You say to me, it is 
don't fit, you don't feel pretty And it's hard to miss, I wish that you could see My point of view, there's someone staring back at you On Friday night, we're all out It's sent to you, and you're looking down And you don't want to dance, I know you love to dance You never stop giving half the chance Just keep your head up, love, keep your head up Hide away, don't ever change. Sing! Cause everybody's looking at you now. My, oh my, I guess some queens don't need a crown. And I know why, even when you're dead. Perfect now. Never do, but if you ask me to, tell the truth like next to you, cause you're the only one. When it's said and done, you make me feel like being someone good to you, even at your worst. You steal the scene and it's unrehearsed. Don't you want to dance? Just a little dance. Never stop giving half the chance. I keep your head, keep your head. Don't look away, don't look away. Cause everybody's looking at you now. My oh my, I guess I'm. I'll just take a tiny bit more guitar in my ears, please. How's it going, Crystal Palace? Are you loving it? <laughs> All right, this next one's only the brave.
Fucking cold, man. Cast in your weekend treasure for suit and tie, second wife. Saying that you should have done better. Just remember that I, I've seen that fire alight. Tell me, do you? Tell me, do you still remember feeling your? 
Do you still remember feeling young? Enjoy this crystal palette.
So what did you expect from me? You shouldn't come as no surprise No, you said that you'd give me another chance You and I knew the truth would be in advance Mentally, you were already out the door Never thought that giving up would be so hard But I'm missing you and you're addicted Did anyone here watch the live stream I did, like, fuck no, is that six months ago or something? Okay, you might recognise this one. This one is called Copy of a Copy of a Copy. New tune. It's no curse, tumors diving head first. Broken beaks and dead birds can't get through the glass. There's no use crying over spilled blood. Caring only kills love. I kiss on the back. I know that the first blow it's you call.
let, let, let me just say before I start the next tune. Only you lot could hear it once and know it that fucking well. Can you say that? Contemplating running for a piss pretty much from the third song, but can't do that. Um, okay, so I what the reason I the reason I put copy of a copy in the in this set, not this time but the time before. Originally, I thought I might have a, have an audience to be able to play it to and get a feeling from it. So um, that's what I've done with this next one. It's a new one. Um, yeah, this is a new song. It's called Change. It's going on the new album. There you are.
That's a new experience. Hang on, hang on, hold it, hold it. I'm talking. Uh, well, that sounded proper fucking David, didn't it? Um, 
I've never had that before. You know what I mean? I'm looking around. Obviously, none of you know words. Uh, but thanks for listening so lovely. I hope you like the tune. It's called Change. I might have introduced it as Changes. Sometimes I get it wrong. I think it's called Change. Okay, next song is Defenseless. Sing along with me, please, Crystal Palace. <laughs>
Just gonna have a little chat here. Um, when I come into these situations, let me just give you a bit of history for a second, right? You know, I'm 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 very lucky in the experiences I've had before in my life, and obviously with the band and stuff like that. Yeah, I know. Um, but still, when I turn up to gigs like this, you know, this part of me, because obviously, you know, I've only done two tour shows before now. I don't really know what to expect. And then I just fucking, honestly, throughout this whole gig, all I feel is excited about what's to come, the tour ahead of us. And that, that's thanks to all of you in here. Honestly, so I try in these moments to show you me thanks. But honestly, I can't, I can't even articulate it. I just fucking love all of you. And anyone who's not here today, you know, anyone, just fucking... I love you, I love you, so thanks a lot. I just wanted to say that, anyway. Oh, I know you know this one.
nothing wakes you up that we cannot belong. And all that's left of us is a cupboard full of clothes. Thank you. Nice one. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Big enough. Woo.
Anybody in here? Anybody in here that it's your first gig back since all of this? Go again, I didn't have my ear out. Anyone in here? First gig. You've blown my fucking night tonight, Crystal Palace. Honestly, not my absolute head off. You've been, you've been incredible. As I said to you, you know, I've, uh, I spent months speculating about what this might feel like, what it might look like, what it might sound like. And as per fucking usual, gone way beyond my expectations. And that's thanks to you lot. And I want you to know every single time I get up on this stage, that's why I put today on. Why I put today on any opportunity that I can thank you lot. Because you're fucking unbelievable. Know that, know that. Every single time I get up on stage, you guys make me feel fucking invincible. And I fucking love that feeling. All right. Hope it's been a good show back. It's killed my mind.
Fucking head fried, man. Oh, fucking yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, it was hard to hear, man. It was hard. Yeah. Fucking sick. Yeah, bring it here, boys. Bring it here. Get in there. Yes, yes. I couldn't hear a thing, man. The time was so loud, man. I'm a pack of folk. Same, bro. Yeah, same. I'm fucking yes, boys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's go have a drink. That shot did some magic as well. Yeah, no more rehearsing. No more rehearsing, like now. I've been trying to say it for years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck me, man. What a relief! Yes, oh, boy! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Eat it though. <laughs> <laughs> just, just right. play, you gotta, you know what I mean? You almost gotta compute it all. But in the moment, yeah, it was fucking amazing. Really good. Really good. I yeah. literally. But I try not to like. Yeah. 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 You were killed. You killed it. You went on holiday and came back and smashed the gig. Bless you. You're gonna make me sad. Bless you. Love you, Helena. Bless you, darling. Bless you. So proud of you. Did you get on the wine at the end, or? Did you get on the end? Yeah. Oh. I still use cigarette. Yeah, 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 exactly. Hello, darling. Are you all right? Are oh, we getting grounded in here? Should we lift him? Oh, Johnny's gonna come. Oh, Helena, we're crying. Bless her. I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna bounce. So many emotions tonight. No, you darling. Have you enjoyed it though? It's been amazing. You've done. I was nervous before that. Well, I don't know. It didn't show. Lightweight for Johnny. How did you get him in? Hey. That was a brilliant. You got your wristbands on. Yeah. Oh, the fans gave me that. Oh, is it? Oh, nice. She said, have you got one of these? I said, no. Oh, bless her. Did she give it to you? Yeah. 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 Are you all right? That was brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. I just said to Eleanor, that's the best of it you've seen. I couldn't hear anything on stage. Like, my pack that's got me volume on is at max volume. If there'd been more people in there, it would have just been impossible. They're so loud. One girl counts for two on a normal crowd. It's just so loud. I see, I see you crying a bit. Oh, bless you. I did. I did cry. Yeah. I've cried, I've laughed, I've clapped, I've cheered. I've, and I've thought, what an amazing mixture of emotions I've felt tonight. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 The thing is, I didn't realise until I got, yeah. Thank you. until it was about an hour before that, I thought, I haven't done this in like 18 months. It's a long time. Oof, fucking hell. <coughs> so I haven't really had time to compute it all. So many people chatting, you know what I mean? It's just like, I haven't got time to digest it really. <sighs> Every single time I come off stage, yeah, sound check, rehearsals, gig, I ask the question and I say to Helena, whoever else, me boys or my girlfriend or whatever it is, like, how was it? And do you know what the irony in that is? It doesn't matter what they say, because I've already made my mind up in my head. I'm like, all right, well, but the reason today was different, the reason I mentioned that is because even with doubt, man, and, and it's fucking, it can be at the forefront of your mind, I trust Helena implicitly. She can tell me after a gig, you smashed it. And I'm trying to read between lines, I'm looking at her in the eye, I'm thinking like, what does she like? Today, she was fucking crying, man. Honestly, I, I could well up fucking talking about it. I did that, that, that makes me proud, man. I will keep you day and night, here until the day I die. One life the reason it was fucking unbelievable was yes, because I played the music and I sang some shit, but more importantly, that we all are in the same room with the same idea, the same intention, the same feeling. And that, more than anything, is what I come away from these situations feeling, just this togetherness, man. Right? Do you know what I mean? And that is what makes me feel like I can take on the fucking world, because if I've got these lot behind me, who the fuck's going to stop us? Do you know what I mean? Keep you saying